More deadly Israeli airstrikes on Gaza are reported for the second consecutive day, with yet another person killed in the attacks. Meanwhile, media reports say Palestinian forces have retaliated with missile strikes on Israel's largest city, Tel Aviv. Let's watch live now to local reporter Nick Kolyohin in Tel Aviv. Nick, thanks for joining us. Now, could you please update us on what is currently happening in Tel Aviv? And are these missile strikes indeed retaliation for Israel's attacks on Gaza? Yeah, indeed. Uh, the residents of Tel Aviv and the area here were preparing for this uh, barrage of rockets since uh, yesterday. And uh, streets and places are emptier than usually but uh, people still they really used to this kind of attack so everybody knows where they should go where is the closest uh, shelter and here behind me uh, we heard ourselves uh, these sirens air sirens uh, just minutes ago and people of this uh, skyscraper that i'm standing inside uh, on the border between tel aviv and ramad Gan, they went quietly to the shelter room that we have at, at each floor and they were really quite calm and they understand what is going on and they think that Israel uh, should uh, now respond and after that Hamas or Jihad Islami will respond again and this uh, vicious cycle of violence is going on for decades here in Israel. Right, and uh, but has the has the violence actually succeed, uh, succeeded now? Is it over now, or are there causes or fears that it could continue throughout the day? People uh, really know the scenario. It's like the same movie, and we know how it is going on. Uh, first, there's strikes at Gaza, and then barrage of rockets. And if it is uh, reaching Tel Aviv as now, then uh, the Israeli army will uh, definitely. And uh, be more aggressive uh, with its bombing of uh, Gaza Strip, and for sure there will be another retaliation. And people here are waiting for another air sirens, and they are uh, close to their shelters. Many of the people are scared, but others uh, try to continue as usual as much as they can. I think it's very disturbing to say to hear that this is everyday occurrences. Let's hope uh, a ceasefire or. A negotiations start soon. Nick, call your hidden yeah. local reporter in Tel Aviv. Thanks so much for joining us here today, RT. We'll see you again soon. Thanks again. Thank you.